what's an elementary school without a playground, right? Well, that's a question some APS parents have at a big West Side school where their kids are going on a third year without a playground. News 13's Chris McKee is live at Chaparral Elementary near Coors and Western Skies. Chris? Yeah, Jessica, over the last three years, contractors have added a new building with classrooms, bathrooms. They've also added cafeteria space and more to the school here. But a jungle gym for big kids still missing. For almost any kid, Faster. it's one of the best parts of school. I really think our children deserve to play. Whee! A mom of three. Is it hot? Sabrina Carrillo likes this new play place at her neighborhood school, Chaparral Elementary. We're really happy about it. But when school starts soon, her oldest children and most of the nearly 1,000 kids who go here won't be able to use it. Unfortunately, it's for the kindergarten and first graders. After nearly three years and $14 million worth of construction and remodeling, Chaparral Elementary is still without a play area for second through fifth graders. Swings and slides and all those things that you expect kids to be able to enjoy. Parents were promised an older kids play area, but since 2012, they've only had basketball hoops and blacktop or this field to play on. So the boring. Sabrina's son Alejandro says he spent his last two years at Chaparral without much to do. She's worried her third grade daughter is looking at the same thing this year. Construction looks like it's wrapping up, but parents say there's still no sign of a jungle gym. You have to have fun in order to learn. APS tells News 13 that the kids should have a structure by the end of October. Sabrina's hoping that's the case. They are. Uh kind of need to get on the ball with this and let us know that our children are important by giving them what they need. So what's the big holdup with the jungle gym? Well, we asked APS today, but they couldn't give us an answer. Jessica, back to you. All right, thank you, Chris. The remodeling got rid of a lot of the portables, so more kids will be in real buildings at the 31-year-old school starting next month. The project is part of a push by APS to redo its older schools.